So when GameStop announced that they were doing their GameStop Retro, I thought that it was going to be a complete failure, especially when I went into my local GameStop and saw that they had this fake cartridge game in their possession. I was able to pick up a copy of Leaf Green version, this Pokemon game on the Game Boy Advance, and I was able to score this terribly fake repro game at a full price of what they were selling an authentic copy for. So this was just insane, and I really thought that they were dropping the ball by not checking the games, by somehow having their employees buy fake games and bring them into circulation. I've heard so many horror stories over the years of GameStop, but I keep going back. Now, I decided to give it a little bit of time so that I could get everything together when I went into my local GameStop retros. I wanted to see if I could find any great deals and see if I would get lucky, find those complete in-box, complete in-case games for a fraction of the price. And let me tell you, they did not disappoint. I went into my local GameStop, I was looking for certain games, and these are two GameCube games that I need for my complete set. And the best part was, these are both listed for like $14.99, of course you get them even cheaper if you have the $5 off coupon, you have the pro membership, you have points to cash in, you can get games for a fraction of the price. And the crazy thing is, they only are around the price of a loose disc, but I was able to get them with the case, the original GameCube cases, the manuals, the disc, everything looks to be in tip top shape. And I just found it so crazy that GameStop had some of these great deals. You just have to do that research when you go into these locations. You have to know what you're looking at, use price charting, use eBay sold listings and see if you can find better deals. This Batman Vengeance game, you know, playing on the animated series, this dark Batman game, really a lot of fun and definitely one that I have to play through. Then on to Super Monkey Ball Adventure, finding these games. Now they did have a couple others, but they were missing the manuals. Some just weren't in the greatest condition wise. So I did have to pass on them. But there was one time I went into the GameStop Retro and I saw that they had a copy of a Metroid game on the GameCube and someone picked it up and bought it before I even had the chance. So it's just crazy. As fast as they're getting these retro games in, they are going right out the door. They said that so many people are just stopping by week after week, checking for the deals. And now all of my local GameStop retros have the tools to open up the cartridges. They learned that someone was buying games, returning fake ones, and, you know, passing it off, they had to ban that person. They had to make sure that they weren't going to take advantage of it anymore. So that's probably how I got a copy of a fake game, which I could have returned, but I wanted to, you know, prove a point, show that I did not want that back out there circulating around to someone else who might accidentally purchase it. So I decided to keep that and just kind of use that as my like journey of this GameStop retro. And that is not all. They had so many great games, not just cartridge games, but of course I already had a lot of those games. They have tons for the Nintendo Wii. So they actually had this Final Fantasy, The Crystal Bearers. So I have not played this game. I've heard that some people enjoy it. It's definitely a lot different than what you would expect, but it's one that I have not played before and I hadn't really seen it. And then on to both of these games. These are ones that I did not have in the collection. We have Valkyrie Profile 2, and this one was like $28, but of course I used a coupon, and I had tons of points to take advantage of this. Finding these like complete in box copies, we have this Dragon Quest game. This is another great one, and I love how it even comes with the playable demo inside for Final Fantasy. So this is really cool because it actually comes with both discs. So that is something that, you know, I like to see. I like to hold these games. I like to check out the conditions. That's something that you can't do online. So I say take advantage of these GameStop retro stores. Not only are they getting the training, they're getting the tools to open up the cartridges. I'm starting to see Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, all of these Game Boy Advance games, and some of the prices aren't that bad especially if you can get them complete in box, 
you can get them with the manuals or the extras. It's really up to the stores what they're taking in and they will send them out to the local retro stores. So if there is a GameStop and someone goes in to sell all these games, they'll take them in and they'll ship them out to the nearest retro store or you might be able to catch them before they ship them out. So I was able to add some Xbox 360 titles. All of these games were like less than $5. The Evil Within, Resident Evil 6, Dead Rising off the record. So these are just great horror games that I already talked about in one of my crazy horror videos that I did on all of these like 50 plus Xbox 360 games. So this was really a fun one to do and now I'm trying to get all the physical games that maybe I had on the PlayStation 3, but I wanted them for the Xbox 360. And then this game right here, this was definitely underpriced as well. So by the time I'm telling you, you use those coupons, you take advantage of the pro membership deals, you take advantage of buy however many, get so many. And this is Tenchu Z. This is a really fun stealth game. It says become the ultimate ninja assassin, master the ancient art of stealth. You really have to be good at these types of games because if you, you know, kind of just crouch around and walk around, you might actually get caught. So you really have to dedicate the time to this and you have to experience this. So I'm really excited to go through. This is one that I've heard about, one that I've really wanted to play and getting this for like less than $20 complete in pristine shape. Everything looks great. You know, you have the manual, you have the disc and everything looks to be in tip top shape. So it is just wild to me that you can use this now as an advantage, you know, take that time to locate the different retro GameStop stores, whether you want to try and take that, you know, risk of shipping games to yourself, trying to get those deals. You might not know because not all of them are going to come complete in the cases with the manuals. But if you check out your local stores or just continuously check different ones, you might get lucky because when I went to one recently where they had these, they got in tons of Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and like Game Boy Advance games right before they even put them out on the floor. So I was able to take advantage of looking at all of those. Of course, I already owned them, but this is just crazy to me. So I wanted to give you guys an update and show that finally they got the tools around my local GameStops. I've seen people get amazing deals on like crazy rare Nintendo 64 games, crazy cartridge deals, you know, finding them for like a third or half or fraction of the price. It's just wild. So make sure you guys take advantage of that and use this as a tool. Whether you love GameStop or not, definitely use it to your advantage. So that's what I wanted to say. And I want to know if you guys have found any great deals and what should I look at? I'm starting to see more and more systems, controllers, accessories, and now retro games at my local GameStop. So of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out all of my other videos and stay tuned for more.